You're listening to Super Dad. Super so crazy. Stay tuned to 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. Welcome back, guys, to this week's Super Dads on 102 Pearl FM. Still and always the number one fun radio station in the UAE. As usual, it's a show produced, managed, and presented by Super Dads. For you guessed it, the Super Dads of the UAE and around the world. We're international now, Mr. Worldwide, worldwide. 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 Prestige worldwide. Prestige, prestige. So we're really pleased to have you with us this week. And as you know, each week we have a super dad come on the show to talk about his life, challenges, and life as the unsung hero of family life. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit, why, why are you nervous? I'm a bit nervous. I've got, um, yeah, I've got, my tummy is rumbling with nerves. Got a celebrity in this week, haven't we? Let's not give it away just yet. Um, I'm excited though. Oh, it tastes like Christmas. I know. But anyway, people don't know who you are. Who I am? Yeah. I'm Gary. I'm the GSB. Of course you are. And I'm lucky enough, as usual, to be co-presenting this amazing show with my mate, Mr. Browning. Now, interesting fact about Mr. Browning, I worked with a little bit with him this week. We put our serious hats on and we worked together out of a coffee shop. And I'm going to be honest with you, it was uh, interesting hearing him at work. Interesting. Interesting being the operative word. And huh? also, when he concentrates, he's the closest thing to a human version of bagpuss I've ever seen. <laughs> We'd like to explain what bagpuss is to anybody that doesn't get that reference. Well, as in, I imagine most of our listeners are expats. But come on, we want everyone listening. Chinese, Japanese, Italian, eh, tutti frutti. Everyone. <laughs> but in the UK, there is a famous, famous cartoon. It wasn't a cartoon, really. It was... Was it? it was like an early stop motion. Yeah. Pablo, yeah. you're in the media. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Pablo stop knows. Motion. Pablo yeah, knows. Okay. But Bagpuss was this really cute but tired looking pink cat. And that was Thanks, buddy. That was you. You the owned it. Tired that. looking pink cat. You owned it. Well, I went home and told everybody how much fun I had working with you that day. I. So, I'm I was glad to know how you felt about things, buddy. I appreciate that. was that. fun for me. I found the human version of Bagpuss. Wow. Well, okay. <laughs> But very clever. He does very clever things with doctors and nurses and all sorts. He said words I couldn't understand, as usual. So uh, why, Please, are you, why are you nodding, you. Pablo? Any of those sort of words. Pablo, why are you nodding? It's not in agreement with him. You're supposed to argue a bit and say, no, GSB, you were right. You can say long words and things. You're quite clever. Well, look, before you go off on too much of a tangent... I told you, you I'm excited, mate. No, well, look, calm down. Just a I minute, can't. okay? Let me introduce him first, and then you can, go all, you can go all fanboy on him. Okay. Okay? I can't wait. But, look, we are very, very excited to be joined by this week's potential super dad. Um, we're honoured to be joined by Pearl FM's very own Safe from The Breakfast Show. Safe spends his time entertaining the families of Dubai every morning. But... What do his friends really know about him? Well, today, we're going to find out. As well as all that, when he stops WhatsApping, because he's really into... Uh, he's, insta- he's Insta-facing. He's Insta-facing. Yeah. It's the fans. He's twit-booking. <laughs> he's all over it, OK? Well, as well as all that today, also going to be opening up a little bit about ourselves to the listeners. And our family and lives. And our family lives. Because, quite frankly, we're a few weeks in now. No one really knows a lot about us. Still. We could be like Pablo, frauds on the run. You never know. Without actually having any family or kids. So we're going to find out a little bit more about us as well today. Safe. We are so pleased and honoured. And we're not worthy. Yeah, absolutely. We're not worthy. Wayne's World, right there. Get on. To invite you to our show. And I'm really even surprised, A, you knew us. B, that you knew it was happening, and C, that you turned up. So we, su- we appreciate that. I'm surprised he's up this late, because he's up at 5 a.m. every day to do the breakfast show. Yes, of course. What there time do you get up? 4.30. <sighs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, Safe, thank you so much for being here. Tell us tell us about yourself. Tell us who Safe is for those that aren't fortunate enough to listen to you in the morning. Well, my name is Safe. I'm a host on the Breakfast Club show from 6.30 to 9.30, and plus I'm a motivational speaker, inspirational speaker. I do visit schools, universities, companies, you name it, and I deliver speeches out there, and I try to inspire the world, not just, you know, Dubai. So this is me. What a hero. And what about family? Family, yes, I'm a father. I got two beautiful sons. I got Hamdan and I got Mohammed, and I got a beautiful wife as well. Let's not forget about her. So she doesn't let on, you know... Says hello to me. Yeah. 
Let's we'll give her a shout out. What's her name? Maha. Hi, Maha. Hi, Maha. How are you? All right. I'm going to make sure that she tunes in. As if I'm a big fan, of course, I do listen. No, we appreciate so I'm going to make sure that she's sat next to me so she has to listen to this. So she'll be the third lady that listens to us yeah. outside of outside, our wives. Outside of Principal Lisa, <laughs> Mrs. Browning. Yeah, yeah. And now we're going to have Martha. Mrs. B. Well, she's, on, she's on board. <laughs> well, look, before we deep dive into this week's questions with Safe, we're going to have a quick break to so stay with us at Super Dads on 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun radio station in the UAE. <laughs> Super Dads. Super You're so dad. crazy. Stay tuned to 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. Welcome back, guys, to Super Dads on 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun radio station here in the UAE. So, safe, let's get straight into it with question one. Boom, let's go. Busy life in the media. How do you balance the old work life? Balance twice. I said balance twice. I tell you, I'm excited. You're a balanced man. I am about well. I'm about that. Not I'm a balanced, balanced diet. No, <laughs> definitely not a balanced diet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing all right. You're looking, I, you're looking I, trim, yeah, brother. I lost like three it. pound this week. Thank I you did. Very I much. did think. Did they uh, sell that shirt in an adult size? Well, it's Baby Gap. <laughs> it's Baby Blue. I love yeah, it. It's yeah. matching your it's eyes. It's Baby Gap, but for the mums. <laughs> um, whilst having the baby. Um, <laughs> Anyway, question. Anyway, <laughs> busy life in the Guys, we're, we're here for an interview, right? <laughs> right, yeah. We need, well, we'll, we'll get on to you in a minute, Sam. All right. Yeah, okay. yeah, just hold on, all right. <laughs> okay. Got yeah, power yeah. crazy. You're on our show now, Sam. Yeah. Oh, you're on our show <laughs> now. You're in our house. This <laughs> ain't no breakfast show. Busy life in the media. How do you balance the work life balance with what would be considered a non conventional work day? <laughs> I just can't take this seriously right now. <laughs> we are we are serious operators, safe. All right, okay. right. <clears throat> this is not our day job. This is some this is some Watergate stuff. We're going to be deep diving in you. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So, sorry. What was your question? <laughs> sorry. Busy life. Mm. How do you get the work life balance with what would be considered kind of a, a non conventional day? Like for me, honestly, as I said uh, earlier in the first link, is that. I always wake up 4.30 in the morning and I try to balance my life in a way by saying, okay, I got work to do and right after work I have to hit to the, hit the gym, right after gym, family time. Yep. And I totally respect family time. So let's say for example, from, from like three o'clock till like eight o'clock at night, family time. So actually you, you get quite a lot of time with the family then? Yes, of course. But what about weekends and stuff? Personal weekends with the families as well. Okay. Yeah. How because I find it a bit challenging sometimes because of my wife. She tells me, like, say, if you're never there, you're always busy hosting events or whatever. You're going here and there, Abu Dhabi, Russell Kema, you name it. But I always try to, like, make it up for her. So whenever I have, a like, a weekend, like, if, if like, I'm free throughout the week, I'll just say, you know what, let's go, let's book a hotel in Russell Kema or something, and I'll make it up for you guys, you know, and just spend my time with my family, like, two days, two days off. And then she would like totally understand. And I, of course, have to explain to her by saying, listen, you know that I'm in the media industry. I'm a host. And plus, I do events, several events here, there. And now she, she understands what I'm doing. So she's like onto the flow with me. So, yeah. Okay. I mean, do the kids, um, obviously, still quite young, do they understand what dad does at the moment? Or do, uh, I mean, I'm sure they listen, but they do listen. not being there. Yeah, they do listen. But Hamdan, I have a strong feeling that he understands that daddy's not there. Yeah, because... Okay. Whenever I come in, he's like, Daddy, Daddy. And then he just comes running in and hugging me. And I'm like, okay, yeah, he misses me. I totally yeah, understand okay. that. Yeah. My, two are, my two are four and two, and I get the same thing. It depends. If mummy has been out, they love it when she comes back. If daddy's been out, it's just, oh, yeah, you're back. Cool. Okay, what was I doing before? Yeah, that guy that lives here. That <laughs> guy that lives here and pays for everything. Yeah. I'm only joking. Juliet pays for everything. I, uh, I just do what she tells me. All right, make sure that you correct that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, good. <laughs> edit that out. Edit, edit that out. Okay. Don't. <laughs> But I mean, on that front, obviously, you are in the public eye, you know, from a media, you're doing inspirational speaking, you're all over the country. Um, are you conscious of your family life being, you know, how do you be, how do you manage blurring that line? Like, Are you conscious of the impact that that might have on the kids and how do you protect them? How do I protect them? Let's say, for example, especially when it comes to social media, my wife is not a big fan of social media and she totally understands that whenever I post a picture of my sons or like my family in general, she would just say like, you know what, just cover up Hamdan's face or whatever. Just, I don't want everyone to see your son. 
but we have this fight like not like fight like Muhammad Ali fight like dish, dish, dish. no 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 what I'm trying to say is that we have this conversation like this argument by saying okay listen he's my son I know that nothing bad is going to happen to him let me just post pictures of him because I want people to understand that I'm a father as well I'm a busy daddy and at the same time I'm proud of my son I'm proud of my family I've so. noticed that you are very good at that I mean, there's a lot of pictures. I, funnily enough, have the same thing. Gary and I share an Instagram page, the Super Dads DXB, and so each of us post different things. But one thing my wife has said is, I don't want pictures of the girls' faces on there. You know, I've there's a couple that I've posted from, you know, it's behind. You do it very well. It's either portions of you holding his hand or him walking or from behind. And I, I notice that you're always very conscious of that. Yes, because we, we have this in our, like, how do you say this? In, um, in our... In, in our, like, not religion, in our region, you know, that we don't post pictures of, like, kids' faces. Not everyone does that. There are families like, okay, boom, do it. You know, just post a picture, no problem. But my wife, she's, like, way too strict when it comes to, like, posting pictures of Hamdan. Because she said, okay, if you want, like, an approval for this, once he's, like, six years old or, like, seven years old, like, no problem, boom. Just post that picture. So that's the only challenge that I face sometimes with my wife. I mean, you are a very proud dad. I mean, you do put things up there. As a as super dads, Gary and I, you know, we love seeing you up there. You know, we love listening to you on the show. And we're very, very happy that you're here talking with us as well about being dads. Um, but look, before we go on any further, we're going to have a quick break. But stay with us. We're the super dads with SAFE today. Uh, 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. <laughs> Super Dad. Super You're so Dad. crazy. Stay tuned to 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. Welcome back, guys, to Super Dads on 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun radio station in the UAE. I'm the GSB, and I'm glad you're sticking with us because we are going deep diving into the life of the number one breakfast rock show celebrity if of the UAE, if not the world. I'd say Chris Fade who? Chris Fade? <laughs> Who's that? Silly name. That's like a made up name like The Rock or, or someone like that, isn't it? It's not it's the real name. It's probably his real name's probably Douglas Smith. Or something like that. Anyway. Anyway, we got a lot of respect. Enough for, of, we got a lot of respect for what he does and the work that he uh, does. He's, a, he's an incredible guy, big fan. Uh, anyway, move on. Would we say Anyway, Mr. Safe. You're all about positivity. and so <laughs> you're <laughs> Don't mind me laughing. Just continue. No problem. <laughs> you're all about... Po- <laughs> Love the introduction. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. We're all about... Po- you're all about positivity and support. What are some of your challenges that you face trying to be positive all the time, trying to be supporting, supporting others? Do you feel that you get the same back? What a great question, seriously a powerful question. And I always say this, is that sometimes on my DMs, like on my direct messages on Instagram or like on social media in general, is that I get messages saying that, okay, I'm facing challenges in life, you know, as a wife or as a husband and plus, I reply back to them, you know, I get private messages, I cannot share them. So I I reply back to them and I actually solve their problems. But later on, I noticed that nobody's helping me out. There are days that I feel really like dull. I just feel like sad. You know, I just feel like I need to lift up. I need a friend that who could like listen to me and vice versa. The problem is that people are very like how judgmental. So it happens. So whenever, let's say, for example, I see you coming in at the office one day and you're just like totally, you know, like sad or something. You're not in the mood, but I know your energy. I know like how you were and what you are right now. So it's just like me asking, okay. I can just come to you and ask you like, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm fine. Are you sure you're okay? Do you want to talk this outside or something? You know what? I'm a friend. I can listen to you. No problem. Because this is what people need. We need good listeners. We need people to understand and listen closely to the problems. And then we give them a solution. Even though you don't give them a solution, sometimes we don't find that solution because that solution is only with that certain person. He or she has to find that certain solution by themselves. So I always say this, that I approach a person, whoever is sad, that I know. Not like randomly people like, oh, okay, you're sad. I <laughs> Walk up to yeah. people on the street. <laughs> you <laughs> look sad. Let me talk to you. <laughs> so that's why I like to call my sa- myself safe motivation on Instagram because I love to motivate. I love to inspire. I love to like lift people's souls whenever I can because I just try to be like a superhero for them, like super dads. Yeah. So... 
I'm just trying my best to be there, to be available for them. Even my wife, I have like several struggles with her. She was like, why are you always on your phone and stuff? I'm like, listen, sit next to me and you'll understand what I'm going through. Seriously, like all my messages, I'm like replying like one message to another, one message to another. I just feel like I'm saving people like, like here. I'm like a superhero for them. Yeah. And then later on, sometimes I go through bad days that my wife, she doesn't have enough sleep. She wakes up like in the middle of the night and then she's just like, okay, you have time for them, but what about us? You're, you're like, you're never there for us. You're always busy, yeah. you know, and what about us? You're not giving us like our time. That's like one of the challenges that I face. And I'm trying my best and I always come back home by giving her a hug and her like a kiss on the cheeks by saying, listen, I love you. It's been a busy day, but you know, I'm trying my best to make it up for you guys. Yeah. And throughout time, I just said, okay, if she doesn't want to change that, I can make that change later on. So later on, I just came in like, like, like once in a week or like once in two weeks, I would just come in with a bouquet of flowers by saying, listen, you are special. And I thought about you and don't think that I'm never thinking about you or thinking about my sons because... She, she started like going to the gym now and I'm taking care of the kids while she's away. So once I come back from the gym, I'm sat down at home taking care of the kids and sometimes I take my son Hamdan outside to play, you know, have some fun, you know, it's like from some family for a fun time. And then later on she noticed and then she always says this before I go to sleep. Thank you. You're really a very good husband. So like, okay, no, now I'm doing a great job. Yeah. So on a positive note, like no matter, no matter what you're going through, Always just be yourself. I always say this. Just be yourself. No matter what you're going through, you have bad days, you have good days. Just start to like, be positive. Be yourself. Because you own yourself. Because if you add all that negative energy to yourself, you add all that negative vibes, and you always say, okay, you know what? It's going to be a bad day today or whatever. It will if you decided to, do, to say that. You know. So I always say this. Okay, it's a beautiful day. Hey, 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 let's go. Boom. Happy days. And what makes me happy, what makes me really, really be positive is that by, by my surroundings yeah. and by my listeners as well. Let's say, for example, like on the Breakfast Club show, if there are days that I feel really, really tired, like exhausted, but doesn't mean that I'm sad, but I don't have that energy. Mm. But once I go on air on the first thing, like, hey, 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 it's a beautiful day. I see these phone calls. I see these messages from mommies and daddies sending me pictures of their sons, you know, and like their daughters and everything. I was like, wow, if you ever thought about this, they trust you with their kids. Yeah. And that's a powerful message. And that means that they really love you mm. and they believe in you. So when but I- you're a part of the family. Yeah, and w once I receive like these kind of messages, I was like, okay, wow, I'm doing a great job. And I'm sure that they love me. And I see these kids smiling. It's like, why don't I smile? Yeah. Life is beautiful. I always like to place an example of life with kids because that's how we used to be. As a kid, we didn't have like a responsibility. We were just like 24 seven smiling and laughing. Sometimes we do cry when we fall down, but life is still beautiful. But what, what made us change this is that we always say, okay, we got financial issues. You know, we gotta buy this, we gotta buy that. We have to follow up with this. We have to do this and that. So what I would always say is that this is a part of life. You have ups, you have downs, no problem. But just keep on going and just be positive no matter what happens. This is what I always say to myself. Yeah. Friend. I always always think that uh, in those sort of scenarios, and I don't know whether you agree, Sam, when bad things happen and you've, you've got to be the rock for the family, I think you just shelve it. And then once the issue is fixed, you have a little moment to yourself afterwards when everyone's done and settled and everyone's comfortable and whatever the issue is, 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 is fixed or on the way of being fixed. It's at that point then you just take yourself off for a bit and, and have some self moment yeah i mean i think f for me the the thing that i found i mean I've, I've had issues with this before gary knows you know there were times when um i've had it's i've been very overwhelmed with things a lot of work a lot of pressures family everything gets everything can get to you and it gets on top and i went to you know i took the step i went and spoke to somebody about it and you know i'm very fortunate i have i have a friend like gary What's up? um as and one of the things my wife actually told me about it because she was listening to, funnily enough, a podcast in the UK. And what this woman, the podcast is all about mental health. Um, and what she was saying is that sometimes you just need somebody to listen. You don't need them to solve a problem. You don't need them to answer you back. You don't need them to, to give you a solution to, to, to what you're telling them. But sometimes just the act of being there and listening to somebody, for me, telling her what has happened i don't need her at the end of it to say well this is how you can fix it or this is how you can do this because just for having said it 
I feel lighter because I've now shared it with somebody. I've explained what's going on. The person you were talking to, was she a lady? Yes, she was. That's what, see, that's why she was. she's a good listener. But even, even Juliet, since I've had conversations with her the same way, the same way as with you, I tell you things... And then just by saying it, I mean, it's different. You and I are friends, and we're quite, I would say, forward-thinking men in the 21st century. But men traditionally aren't yeah. that way. They're yeah. not there to listen. I mean, I'm terrible at it, because on the flip side of it, if she comes to me with a problem, I just want to solve it. That's my point. That's it. That's, That's what my I want to do. Well, all of us in the room it. now, all of us in the room now, including Pablo and the big boss man in, 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 the, in, the, in the box, um, we're fixers. Mm-hmm. So we may not be completely and utterly tuned into their emotional need at that moment. You've brought me a problem. I'm going to fix the problem. Maybe we can deal with the emotional bits afterwards, but let's just fix the problem, yeah. which is why I think you talking to the lady really helped you because she was listening where she wasn't trying to fix. No, no, agreed. And even now, when, you know, when I when I come home, I, I, you know, I had a conversation with Juliet and I just said, look, sometimes I need to just tell you something. I don't need it to be a conversation. I don't need it to be a discussion point. I just need to say it. And she's fantastic. You know, she realizes if I come home and maybe I'm a bit down or something's happened, I just need to un- I just just need to download. I and mean, then afterwards I'm fine. I'm much better. And she just says, "Okay, great." And she comes and gives me a hug, and it's all better and it's better. Um, but I don't think we as dads or us as men do enough for each other. You know, we we set up, you know, we we came up with this Hairbrain scheme as a way to help other dads. Now, whether or not one person's listening or a million people are listening, if this helps, if it, you know, hearing us, uh, us idiots talk about whatever we're talking about, gives somebody a, a release or a break from what's going on in their lives, then that's what's great. And I think that's what's incredible about you, Safe, is that yes, you're doing the breakfast show with kids, and, um, you know, you, I've been on your show in the morning with my daughter. She loves you. You're fantastic in the morning. And it's great. You entertain us on the way. But then the stuff you do behind the scenes you're talking about, you're helping people, the DM the, you know, the DM messages. I know it takes you away from your life, but that 30 seconds could make the difference for somebody in their entire week. True. You know. We got a bit deep there. I oh, know. Sorry. <laughs> get, some, get some tissues. Dry your eyes. Um, but I think it's important. You know, this week especially, we've you know we've spoke to, spoken a lot about on our social media about mental health. That kind of thing that comes up a lot. But look, we're going to take a quick break. Um, but come back. This is the what else we have to say. I'm Sam. This is the Super Dad Show on 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. <laughs> Super Dad. You're so crazy. Stay tuned to 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. Hey, hey, hey. And it's a beautiful day, children. Mommies and daddies, good morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Safe. What are you? This is the Super Dad show, pal. You're in our house. This isn't the Breakfast Club. I'm really sorry, guys. I actually thought that this is the Breakfast Club show. I'm really sorry. This is our backyard. This is our house, son. All right, Super Dads. <laughs> I apologize. We're the, we the big dogs. Whoop, whoop. We are the big dogs. Yeah, I like that. It was a bark, fair, barking, barking dogs. dogs. All right, so, so you guys, one second. You right. guys interviewed me. You asked me loads of questions. We went in deep. All Emotionally. right. I definitely had a swim. Hopefully, I didn't drown. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm going to ask you this question now. Okay. I'm 100% sure that there are dads out there that would love to like listen to your tips on parenting. Oh. All right. I wouldn't say we're so experts. What's, we claim like, to be, let's say, what's your best tips ever as a dad? What would you like to say? Uh, I suppose. I suppose my top tip. Well, your kids are older, so perhaps you can give one for parents who have older kids. And oh, you no, know, there's, there's no advice I can give anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Still having to cut and run. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I think um, so. So we have three kids that are all very young, at quite close ages, and they had the. A, 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 a divide and conquer. So they, 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 kids know what they're doing. <laughs> so if they can see that mummy's on the side but daddy isn't, then it's game over for daddy and vice versa. So my top tip would be united front. Whether you agree with um, your wife's tactic on how she's dealing with an issue or whether she agrees with your tactic, it's never to be discussed in open forum. You, you just back them or you just get them to back you. And then if there's any issue or a disagreement with regards to how it was managed, take it behind closed doors and have a conversation about it. But the moment the kids get a sniff that there might be one buckling over the other, it's game over, man. 
it's game over. They'll just whoosh, they're straight they're like raptors from like Jurassic Park. <laughs> Chris They're, Pratt, you yeah. are not. <laughs> well, the second part, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pratt. Um, I mean, it's, it's, so just on that, because it's a, it's a great tip. Sorry for jumping on your question, Safe. Um, did you have a conversation with Lisa about that to decide, right, from now on, this is always going to be the case? Or were you always in tune to say, we sort of just it, it, we sort of just found our way? Well, we didn't. We, we, uh, as a parent, you never get it right all the time. But it was more of a natural thing. It was kind of a... We just sort of fell into that into that kind of role okay. because we're managing three, and they're all quite close in age. So generally, what you would find is, you know, one of the kids was playing up and being a bit of a pain or whatever, and then you'd have to like pound onto them and, and try and manage that and fix them, and then you'd get a, an even keel. But then there'd be the other one, so you'd always have two that were really well behaved whilst selling out the third who was not <laughs> at that time and it just changed the whole time so the only way you can really manage that situation is by, make, by making sure that the message that you send as parents is in line and always the same I don't think I could be a parent today though in, in today's world with young kids I don't know because well, I'm currently doing it it's too much safe. too much choice too much choice too many conversations I, we have friends friends of our family that have got have got young kids and um, sort of watching them raise their children. And they're great parents, don't get me wrong, they're brilliant. But you'd sit there at a dinner party with them or, or you'd spend a barbecue and spend time with them. And the mum would be like, what, what do you like to eat? What would you want to eat? And then different meals would have to be made for different kids. Yeah. yeah uh, no, this is what we're making. It's going to be really nice and you're going to eat it. And if you don't want that, then you get hungry. You get hungry. Too much choice, too much conversation in today. In, I see in today's world where uh, too, it's too much for me. It's too much independence for kids at a very, very young age that don't know how to manage that independence. You know, parents need to make the decisions for the kids up until a certain age. That's true. It's like it's like very hard for them to agree on to one thing. It's just like no, I want that. I want this. I want that. I want this. And they're like, okay, daddy says no. We're all gonna have this. Yeah. But they're like, no, I want to listen to mommy. Mommy doesn't want to have this. Well, let's have that one. So it's just like yep. going on and on and on. Yeah. So that was my top tip. Good tip, Gary. Thank you. And what about yours? Um, this is one that I need to follow more. Um, and it, it, it comes down to something that you mentioned earlier. But it's, it's being present. And now that's not, and what I mean by that is not just being in the same room when you're with your kids. It's especially, I mean, you talk about not being able to be a parent in the modern world. You know, kids have too much choice. We have so many distractions. And I'm terrible. I'll hold my hands up and say, I'm terrible at it. I, I work, you know, in a, in, a, in a busy job that I'm called all the time for. You know, you talk about people messaging you all the time when you're at home with the kids. But being present when you're with home with the kids. When you walk in through the door and you're in the room with them, put the phone away turn the TV away, give your attention to them because there is nothing worse than, and I get called up on it all the time, when I'm when the kids are trying to ask me a question or they're trying to tell me about their day and I'm distracted. Either I'm reading something or I've, I'm, I'm replying to a message or I'm talking to, uh, talking to my wife or something like that and they don't get my full attention because you may see it as a passing glance and they think, well, you're, oh, it's okay, you know, I'm listening now. But as they get older, they recognise that time that you're not focusing on them and it will become something important. So my biggest tip and something I need to I need to do more in my own life is to be present. If I'm there with the kids, it's kid time. It's me and them. I love I love spending time with them. They're hilariously funny. Um, and I need to do it more without distraction. That's really good, but you know, at the same time there is a reality to your problem. Because we live now in a part of the world that's very competitive. Very competitive. If we moved back to the UK tomorrow, I think whatever it is we did, we'd smash it. We'd probably only putting 80% of the effort in that we put into our jobs today because the market here, yeah, the competition here, um, there's not the same collaboration in the workplace that I have experienced myself back in the UK. So you're always on edge because there's a line of people behind you who's prepared to do what you do by answering the phone, doing the WhatsApps, all that sort of stuff. So it's a real one. I think one of the biggest challenges to, to super dads 
in the UAE is that main issue. You want to spend time with your family, you don't want to be disconnected, you want to make sure you're watching cartoons and things like that with your family, but at the same time you've got one eye on your phone because you need to um, make sure you're on top of your, your, your working day as well. Yeah, but uh, you know, on the flip side of that, I and it, I can't, it can't be said the same for every organisation you work for, but something I truly believe in where I work and I try and instill in, in, in my team is family comes first, Definitely. always. Family is always more important than work. So if you have, I mean, if the amount of time somebody's come to me and said, look, it's, um, it's my daughter's uh, class show, you know, do you mind if I'm there for a couple of hours? No question, go. Don't even ask me. Just tell me where you're going to be. Off you go. Family is always more important than being at work. So, but I completely agree with you, hundred percent. But you're, we don't live in a we don't live in an environment that fully um, supports that lifestyle. God no, no, you no. Know? And 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 what you mentioned that that's like totally right when you said that you have to give your time for the parents, like for the kids and everything, because. What I understand is that I had this argument before with my wife. She was saying that safe, you're always like on your phone now. You're not even giving Hamdan, you're not even giving Muhammad like time. You're not even like like picking them up. You're not playing with them. Even though Hamdan, he comes next to me and he keeps dragging me. He's like, daddy, 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 he wants to play with me. And then later I noticed that I'm not doing this purposely, but it turns into what? In an addiction. And that's going to turn, you know, like the family vibe into something else and then my wife's like okay now he sees that social media is way more important than us i don't want her to think in that way but we had this argument and i kept explaining but listen you guys are way more valuable and everything and then she's like listen i got this rule and i just want you to follow it I'm like okay let's go, let's do it no problem and then she's like once you enter home please phones on silent just keep it on the side the next day when you're off to work, you can read all the messages and reply as much as you feel like doing. And then she was just like, you know what, give us our time. Yeah. I really did this and it really actually helped because yeah. now whenever I come home, I play with my son. Yeah. I'm playing with him. I'm like sat down and just playing with him. And I'm not even distracted. I'm not even thinking about my phone. So this is like a great idea. You have to have like your full time as a dad to be like to be like available whenever you can. Oh, I agree. And but don't don't you know, you're, you're a positive guy, motivational speaker. Um, you know, there's lots of research going on at the moment um, about um, habits, mm -hmm. habits in life, loads of stuff on YouTube at the moment, other motivational speakers talk about it. Not as good as you though. No, God no. <laughs> um, <laughs> But so it's, you know, it's not an addiction. You always looking at your phone. It's just a habit, and all, with all things, habits can be broken. Well, I think one piece of advice I give to, to both you guys, because you know you, you you've both got young kids, is is you're going to get to a, a stage as a dad where actually you're going to miss the time that yes. you spend together. Yeah. You know, as a family, we're, we're, we're tight and we're close, but our challenges are, you know, we've got Autumn living with us, um, so I see her a lot, and we, you know. But as a, as a collective family, we, we don't spend a great deal of time together because they're all adults now. They're all grown up. You know, my oldest son's in Plymouth in the UK. Um, my youngest is with us at the moment, Ted. Um, but he'll be going back to the UK to finish his master's. Autumn's with us, obviously working at Kangaroo Kids. Um, so uh, I miss those times where we all sit around the table together at once and eat a big spaghetti bolognese and, and chat about our day. So... Um, Definitely don't wish it away. Incredible. Well, look, I hope that's some uh, interesting advice there from uh, from two. We like to think of ourselves. <laughs> I've got as super again. Dads. I've got again. <laughs> um, but look, we're going to go for another quick break. But stay with us. Oh, with yes. Super Dads with Safe, because after the break, we're going to be playing our favourite Super Dad game to see if Safe qualifies to be called a Super Dad. Ooh, I love games. Anyway, stay tuned. One hundred two Pearl FM. <laughs> Super Dad. Super You're so Dad. crazy. Stay tuned to 102 Pro FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. Welcome back, guys, to Super Dads on 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. That should be <laughs> that should be the new jingle. That should be. I'm copywriting that puppy. I tell you, <laughs> I'm the GSB. Unless you've already worked that out for yourself. Now, guys, Cockney geezer. Cockney geezer. I'm Sam. Posh boy. <laughs> don't call me that. Posh man. Thank you. <laughs> so, it's our favourite time of the show. It certainly is. What is it? Super Dad's Question Time! 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 Time
<laughs> right, well, this is where we ask you quick fire questions. Ooh. Okay, we've got a top 10. Every super dad has to go through it. Afterwards, Gary and I are going to vote. We're going to give you a rating out of five. Five from me, five from the GSB. You need 10 to be considered a super dad. Fingers now, let go. me tell you only every dad that comes on is a super dad. But you don't know until the end. Okay. So let's start. Let's go. Favorite film, adult film. Adult movie. What's your favourite adult movie? Just, you know, film you'd go see with your wife. Yeah, because obviously you watch a lot of kids' movies, so what would be an Quick adult fire movie? fire safe. Titanic. Good answer. <laughs> favourite sports team? Any sport, any team? Chicago Bulls, basketball. Ooh. That's okay. Uh, your favourite restaurant in Dubai? Oh, I love Cheesecake Factory. Oh, boom. Shout out to Cheesecake Factory. Please send in free cheesecake. We'll take it, no Please. problem. <laughs> and chicken wings. Um, guilty pleasure song in the shower oh I have loads mate you do to be fair <laughs> loads we hear you singing it every morning sing a bit now and we'll guess which one it is oh not that one um, getting jiggy with it Will Smith love it na 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 then my wife goes on like knocking what are you doing don't worry about it don't worry about it woman I'm getting jiggy with it moving swiftly on favourite child Favorite child, uh, both. Good answer. Good answer. Never <laughs> ever choose. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> I'm actually dreading this answer, but the the best meal your wife cooks. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I really love you so much, but she never cooks for me. Do you cook yeah. for her, or is uh, it a takeaway house? I, I'm really bad at cooking, so. <laughs> so you're as bad as each other, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, this is a tough one, really, because we've yeah. never, we've ne this question. She's we've good never... at, she's good at, you know, like baking cakes. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so baker? what's your favorite cake she bakes? Then? Uh, vanilla. Nice. Ooh. Vanilla sponge? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Love, Love it. it. Love it. Please feel free to bring some in for me and Jesus. Definitely. Next. Now, this is, a, the next question is a bit of a difficult one because we've never been in a situation where we've had to ask the person the question is about to choose between themselves <laughs> and somebody else. I know who, who he'll pick, though. <laughs> so, next question. Safe or magic feel safe? Definitely Magic Phil. Yeah, boom. What a hero. Your favourite holiday destination? Oh, Portugal. Madeira Island. Oh, nice, oh, nice. Very nice. And I'm going this year as well. Are you? Boom. Yes. Taking the family? No, no just a friend. <laughs> oh, he's, he's in so much he's trouble. He's in so much trouble, though. He's going to be crazy. A guy Maha, friend I'm guy. so sorry, Maha. A guy friend Oh, okay, friend. Is it golf, yeah. golf trip, is it? Uh... <laughs> Anyway, tea uh, or coffee? <laughs> it's not Pablo, is it? Uh, You're not going with Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tea or coffee? Uh, definitely coffee. Okay, and the big question, your favourite super dad presenter, GSB or SB? Seriously, I wanted to say this, both of you guys. Yeah, boom, pow. Love it. There Seriously. We go. Boom. Do you know we have our own celebrity nickname? No. Gam or Sari? Whichever one you want. I don't think either will catch on, but I like it. That's I like, I like it when he says GSP. Yeah. Well, that's, your, that's yeah, his initials. That's yeah. what I call him. GSP, GSP. Gary Sherrington Boyd. So his GSP. Initials. Whereas SB, it just sounds like a cheap ripoff. It just sounds like I don't have a G in my name. I GSB think, and SB. So it's a wicked man. I, th I, I, I think well, GSB that, and Sam. Yeah. <laughs> I just think it highlights who the real leader of the show is. Pablo's yeah, okay. nodding. Please write in. Um, <laughs> well, Ooh, funny enough, write in. We've got an email address now. I was going to get that to the end, but you I can know, give it now if you want. I'm excited okay. about that. We don't even know if Safe's a super dad yet. Oh, look, we knew he was a super dad before we met him. Yeah, Should we just get to the cut to the chase? Safe, Thank you, you're a super dad, baby. Welcome to the club, buddy. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. What thank you for having me. Hero. You guys are incredible, seriously. Oh, oh thank you. Thank it's you. It's been an absolute we, we, honor. We've loved it. Thank yeah. you for thank you for being here. Thank you for being such a you're positive influence. You're most welcome. Um, and keep doing what you're doing. Um, what well, GSB? We're at the end of another show. That's gone like lightning. Quick. I can't believe it. But anyway, listen, Safe. Thank you so much for being. Uh, how can people follow you? How can people get in touch with you? Where can they listen to you? At Pearl FM UAE, you can download the app. We got Apple Store. We got Google Play as well. Pearl FM UAE, you can find me there. And what about social media? Social how can they get media. Hold of you? Safe underscore mo motivation on there Instagram. You go. Please, Instagram. please follow him because he is incredible. Post up some great stuff. Um, and of course, you can follow us. At Super Dads DXB, we love seeing new followers, especially the ones that aren't trying to sell something. Um, you can oh also see us days. on Facebook as well, Super Dads DXB. And we were told by the big boss today, 
we've got our very own email address. Ooh. Now, now, mm-hmm. the point of the email address before the Big Sam hands out the address for all you lovely listeners to contact us with, the whole point of the email address is for you guys to contact us with questions, queries, if you need any help, if you want to have a chat, or even if there's a certain subject you want addressed and you want to talk about, or even you want to come on the show. We, uh, we don't really know that many people. Um, Absolutely. So we're, we we're we running out know. of ideas. Yeah, I think we're nearly at the end of our idea. <laughs> we track, are, we are. And what's that? This is show... Yeah, I know. This yeah, is probably yeah. quite, quite soon in. Yeah. Um, but look, the email address is <laughs> superdads at pearlfm.ae. Okay? So write in. That's superdads at pearlfm.ae. Okay? Exciting. Well... I've enjoyed myself. I'm exhausted, man. I know. I'm knackered. I'm I need a lie down. You've been listening to me. I've been Sam. He's been Gary. What's up? Safe laughing on the floor now. Um, but we'll see. We'll speak to you guys soon. Uh, this is 102, Pearl FM. No, number guy. one. No, 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 no. You don't say that. Don't say what? No, you don't say that. You say this is 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. Well, how about you sign off then, big yeah, guy? Yeah, you do it. Come right, on, Mister. Come on, Mister. <laughs> so bossy. Here we go. <coughs> <coughs> Remember, it's Super Dad's not the breakfast show. All right. This is 102. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, is it Timmy? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's me, Timmy. If you were ever spotted in a shawl, we told we we told you a number of times, Gary. <laughs> that voice is never allowed out in public. Well, what's what's anyway? <laughs> anyway, before go on then. Finish up the show for us. Go on. <laughs> you want to do it? Show us how it's done. Come on, say. So you were tuned in to Super Dads only on 102 Pell FM. Have a great day. Bye bye. Stay safe, Dubai. You're listening to Super Dads. Super You're Dads. so crazy. Stay tuned to 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE.